you know, to go back years back in the early 2000s, you had the Eclipse jet in the United States, and it was going to be this very light jet. It was going to revolutionize the market. And their engine, their original engine was way underpowered. So they then had to go to a different engine manufacturer and say, okay, we need a we need a, an, an engine that can meet the performance that we that we're aiming for, and that set them back years. Um, but a turbine engine is a very very complex machine in itself. Um, an electric motor, relatively, is very very simple, so you can scale that very quickly. And the fact that yeah. you have multiple motors. Um, you know, on a lot of like this airplane here, it's certified, but it's only got one motor. If the fan stops spinning, the pilot starts sweating because you're, <laughs> because you're, you've just become a glider. So, um, so the redundancy with all of these motors that are going to be on these, these flying air, these EV tolls adds an enormous amount of safety elements to it that will much quicker get them through certification and and the design of an electric motor is far less complex in terms of moving parts in terms of components so again that that one third of an airplane because typically it's the airplane it's the airframe it's the avionics and systems and then it's the and then it's the um the propulsion system simplifying that propulsion system makes it drastically will makes makes the climb not so steep of having to climb that mountain we then will jump across to the comments so terry has a question theory when archer will vertically lift i think we're putting too much pressure on archer you know um with this vertical lift um we've seen them do the conventional takeoff and landing with the pilot on board uh, Mark, are you worried that we haven't seen them vertically lift the pilot yet? And how I'm, hard would it be? Yeah, I, I'm not. Um, the, I think, and I spoke to this a little bit last week, um, they have a defined test program and they have test points that they are going to hit. They're, they have their own company roadmap to develop um, their own company data. And and I think just right now they are developing just their sea tall capabilities, um, their common takeoff or their their your normal takeoff and landing capabilities. But Archer has already demonstrated time and time and time again that their aircraft can take off vertically, convert, and and fly and then come back. Um, it could be something as simple as just the pilot integration to yeah. uh, you know the fly-by-wire system, they may be two weeks behind. And this happens all the time because you have all these different groups developing different systems that all come together. And like, you know, you used to watch, like you watch Apollo 13 or something and they're talking, well, we're not ready to go yet because this group, you know, hasn't it hasn't met their, their design criteria or done something. It, it could be something as simple as that um, to where they are still doing gauntlet testing because Archer and Joby and all these companies, they have what's called a SIL, a systems integration lab, where they are putting all of these motors and all of the systems on a bench and they're running them through all of their different paces on just on the ground. And they're failing them. They are, they're doing all sorts of um, company tests to prove that the software works, that, that, um, uh, you know, and, and, and the just the pilot integration works, uh, how all that works together. They may just be like, all right, let's go hit these other test points first, and then we'll go ahead and and, and do our conversion. I suspect you'll probably see it fairly soon, um, that they'll have a pilot in the loop and the pilot will be fully controlling the aircraft in a in a v, EV or in a VTOL configuration to, to take off to CTOL and then back to a vertical. So it, it's not, it doesn't concern me. Yeah. Well, if, if, if it's six out. months, if it's six months out and they've not done it, yeah. then, 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 you know, or, or if they get to the next conference call and they have not converted, I, I think that's a, that would actually be a very good, um, uh, you know, marker is like, okay, your next conference call is in, is at what time? Um, yeah. okay. You got a pilot in the loop, but you're not converting. And you went from four rotors to two rotors. Analysts are going to ask these questions. 
Yeah. And so if they have some fundamental, you know, like I said uh, earlier, you know, with uh, um, Eclipse having just a, an inferior a motor that wasn't powerful enough, um, then th- they have a bit of explaining to do. But I think at the end of the day, they're they're um, it's just part of their test program, and I'm sure they have it scheduled. They're not going to release that information because it's it's that's you know privileged information to Archer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think you'll see them convert fairly soon.